Another thing that I've recently added to my physical exam checklist on an old diesel is a thorough inspection and testing of the pre-glow system. Now on these models that use uh, parallel or pencil style glow plugs, they have a relay. You can do the testing of the glow plugs through the wiring harness right here. Now I've already checked these and I'm finding that all five of my glow plugs are reading okay. Now I go over this completely. I have a series of manuals on my website about testing your glow plugs and your glow plug circuits. But there's another thing that I really think is important during the physical exam, and that is to determine whether or not there's a lot of carbon buildup in the pre-chambers. I'm going to do that by removing just one glow plug, and I'll run the reamer in there. And if that one's okay, I think we're okay, because I've been able to look down into the pre-chambers when I had the fuel injectors out, and they don't look too bad. I removed the glow plug and it looks really good. Look at that, you got a little bit of burn on a the tip there, but you have no oil buildup, no carbon buildup. Just the look of it, it appears to be a fairly new glow plug. So I've got my reamer. This is the reamer that we build here in my shop. It's got a steel housing, so it's super strong. But notice I've coated it with some synthetic grease so when I go in there and start cutting at the carbon, it's going to pick up most of that carbon and keep it on the reamer floats. So let's see how badly or how good number two is. Okay, look at that. I can't, I can't push it in there. I cannot push it in. That means that we've got some carbon buildup. It's probably very hard carbon. So I do have a wrench that uh, we sell that you can push in on the reamer while turning it. I also have a special ratcheting box end here that has a lip right there so I can push. You need a wrench that you can push while you turn it. So let's get this ratcheting box on here. I'm going to push in and see if I can get it to cut into the carbon. Okay, there it goes. It just went by that initial layer at the entrance to the pre-chamber. So I'll go ahead and run it all the way in here. Now it doesn't feel bad now. I'm getting almost all the way in. You can see that. I'm almost all the way in, and now it's just turning by hand. Okay, we'll get it right down to the seat here. And this is designed to go in and seat on the original point of the glow plug so you don't have to worry about overdriving this reamer. That's yeah, not too bad. Sometimes you'll get this started and you'll go in there and it'll be really tough. Okay, you don't need to torque it. It's all the way in. Now I'm going to back it out. The other advantage of putting grease on the flutes of that reamer is you'll actually get to see what you cut out in there. You know, most of that's carbon, so it's not going to damage the cylinder if you leave it in there and start the engine. Okay, now it's coming out. All right, let's take a look. We don't want to drop this in behind the injection pump. Okay, not bad. You see a little bit of carbon there. Most of that's the grease. I've done this where you've taken this out and it's just coated thick with carbon. So this is not bad, but because I had that resistance, when I started the reamer, I'm going to go ahead and pull the other four glow plugs and do this now because it's really easy when you've just completed the compression test and all the injector hard lines are off.